Hi, good morning my dear student. Yes, very important concept we are going to discuss. But it actually it is a deleted part. But we are going to looking at the CT. So that base maybe arises here the question. So most important in the, that old syllabus. But here they are presently they are not given that value. But we will discuss these things. And later we are going to another biggest concept. First, I will a few minutes. I will discuss this video. So I hope you know that properties of a determinant. What are the properties? Six properties are there. Six properties are there. In this six properties, so last time there one compulsory party question arises. But how they are going to do that? We don't know that. But here, first property says that if a determinant of a row and columns are row and columns are interchange if row and columns are interchange i think i hope transpose of a matrix then the determinant will be the sign unchanged the first property says that if the row or columns interchange of the determinant the determinant should be there is no changes of sign this is the first one so second property if any row or columns interchanges then the determinant of sign will be changes keep in your mind here the particular row row changes or column column changes so like that you can think about so if any two row or columns of the determinant will be changes interchanges then the sign will be changes so this is called the second property and third property, what is the main important property? This one. E Common, you know that if any two row or columns identically, it means same, the corresponding elements are same, then the determinant of the result is zero. The whole determinant should be zero because two identical part. So the fourth one, if a uh, any element scalar multiplication if a multiplied by constant element of the determinant the result should be determinant is some scale it means the scalar whole will be get the scalar this is the fourth property and fifth property the sum of two corresponding element we are going to express so the all those these things are we are going to express for the a very wonderful result so let us discuss one by one we are going to take a few last one is there sixth one ci implies ci plus k cz ri plus ri implies ri plus uh, krj these are the sixth property so these are the uh, not important at present but old syllabus is most important but here these are the your CT purposes or knowledge purposes we are going to discuss in front of you. Let us one by one. <coughs> the property of a determinant. Property number one. The volume of the determinant is remains unchanged. The volume of the determinant remains unchanged. If its rows and columns are interchanged. First one is finished. So what we say that. They are going to say that only row and columns. So I hope here you are sitting on vertical. You come and sit in a horizontal. This the determinant does not affect. That is called the one of the greatest property. So second one is also if any two row or columns, the any two row or columns of determinants are interchanged, then sign of determinant it changes. That may be positive, maybe negative when you can take positive it will be negative when you can take negative it comes to the positive these are the opposite because interchanges of rows or columns the third one if any two row or columns are determinant are identical already i said that identical means same things so those are the all corresponding elements are same then the result should be zero right so here the determinant will be the determinant is the determinant are zero right so that is the finish 
So fourth one, if each element of row or column of a determinant is multiplied by constant k, then its value get multiplied by k. Right? When you can take a k, k means some scalar or real number or complex number. So whatever you are going to take, these are the multiply the determinant. The result is also get multiplied by some k values. It will be changes. The property if some are or all elements of row or columns determinant are expressed sum of two or more terms then determinant can be expressed sum or two or more expression when you are adding the two elements when you are subtracting so you are going to then the result is also two or three or more than value so that is a fifth property says that sum of two values same like that sixth also if to each element of any row or columns determinant, then equi multiply, equi multiply corresponding elements of the other row are added. When you can take added or subtract, then value of remains same. Then the rim here determinant remains same. We apply the operations are most important. Already I said to you, so ri, ri plus k rj. So in this expression, it is a row operation. Here, this is the column operation. So these are the we are going to express for the knowledge purpose. More they are not asking anyone because they have given blueprint. They are given for the syllabus that deleted parties. So but knowledge purpose keep in our mind that expressions are most important. Thank you so much. I'll continue the next area of triangle that is most important question arises. Thank you so much. I'll continue the next video. Bye.